So as the British, I'd love to get back behind enemy lines and get somewhere within northern Germany. That way we can force the Nazis in even more fronts than they're already facing. Because luckily, for some reason, Hitler decided, yeah, you know what, we're fighting this, we're fighting this big, you know, allied war. Let's just go ahead and attack Yugoslavia. So uh, that is why we will see them a part of the allies. Actually, it might not have been Hitler. It could have been Mussolini. I, I'm not entirely sure who declared. Either way, it doesn't really matter. Actually, did they already merge the wars? It is, oh, yeah, it was Germany. Wow, okay. Well, anyways, uh, we're going to merge the wars soon enough, and uh, they'll be fighting a multi-front war very soon. Let's continue on speed three. Um, I've got my submarines from kind of Scotland going in, and uh, we're going to make sure that we patrol the Baltic Sea a little bit more. Because I, I drew a new naval invasion plan. It's actually quite unlikely that this is going to work. Because more than likely, I think they're going to be expecting it. I think that well, we, this is going to be a little more likely, and it's always it's always a better idea to draw multiple naval plans, and and I think I realize that now. I should have realized that before, but uh, nonetheless, we're going to try something here. Wait a second. Oh, okay. So we'd have to go here. I mean, I guess we could test this out. Oh, we still have four more days. Okay, so four more days, and then we can enact that plan. Uh, I know that I've been pretty. Uh, I don't know, pretty ignorant of, is ignorant the right word? No, I've been pretty much ignoring Africa, and uh, unfortunately that is not good because obviously the Italian Ethiopia territory is something that I'm going to want to take a hold of. I'll let France hopefully handle North Africa, and actually I think that's going to be a disaster. There's no way. They're probably going to get pushed back, but hopefully I can come and help them after I, I deal with Ethiopia, or Italian Ethiopia, I should say. I'm going to wait for everyone to get over there, so it's going to take some time, definitely. Uh, good, we've got no air, we've got new air wings. So we need to be sending all of these guys into probably northern France. Another thing that I did over the break was I... Okay, good, you're beginning to uh, close air support. Very nice. Uh, another thing that I did over the break was that I split up some of my troops, which I could see could be a bad idea. Uh, Army 1 now is protecting both the Italian front and the German front, because more than likely, and we've discussed this before, this this amazing uh, these amazing forts are going to keep the Germans back behind. And usually even the AI by themselves, the French AI by themselves, can keep the German AI from crossing this river and getting past this territory. So that's good. Uh, Luxembourg is a little bit different of a scenario since they don't have any land forts. Uh, I hope that we'll kind of keep this country safe. Although, I mean, is it that big of a deal if we lose it? I guess so. I mean, you've got an air base. Yeah, that's probably not a good idea. I, I would like to not lose Luxembourg. So let's try to keep them safe. All right, and uh, we'll, we're going to begin our naval invasion like right now. I think we can... We've got two days left. Yeah, let's go ahead and just have them do it right when they're ready. Although I, I could see why that would be a bad idea, because if I get distracted, which is really likely because I'm always getting distracted. Okay, well, I don't think I'm going to get distracted this time around. Okay, so let's cross our fingers and hope that nobody's there waiting for us. Because if there is somebody waiting for us, then we're probably not going to make it. Oh, what happened here? Did I kill anybody? Okay, I'm just killing Italian convoys, it looks like. Oh, goodness. That's not good. Um... So, I, I'm I'm guessing, yep, they're waiting for us. Hmm. I'm wondering if I should just back away now. Czechoslovakia has called Yugoslavia. Okay, good. Okay, so we just merged the wars. Yeah, this is not going to go well. And I'd rather, and I'd rather not just lose this whole, yeah, I don't want to lose divisions here. Let's go back. If I can. Actually, might not be able to until they actually lose it. Or maybe I have to wait for that arrow to get there. Yep, okay, so the Italians are there now giving them even more support. Alright, let's go back home. I guess I needed to click on the, again, this, I, that's so dumb. That I gotta click on the icon, not the province itself. Alright, so that didn't work out too well. Uh, I'm wondering if we're also going to have, wait, what's going on here? We're still doing, okay, we're still doing fine. Got a huge navy. You know what I'm going to do? We are going to just delete this, because that is not going to work. Now, I'm going to make sure that we assign you guys here. Now, do I have to... What? What the heck? Where did you guys go? Uh, computing. 
Okay, hold on. You guys are doing your thing, right? Where did my army go? I mean, they're right here. I, I know that, but I mean, like, what? Why? How? How the heck did that happen? Well, either way, I've got another armor division. Let me make sure that I assign a, uh, a new research. Love having five techs available as great as the UK, I should say, uh, from the very beginning. That's amazing. Okay, so it's 1938. There's not too much that we can research in 1938 because we, we've, we're, we're pretty we're pretty ahead of time here in terms of tech. So that's really nice, obviously. Um, what I'm going to want to do is focus on doctrines now. Since there really is nothing else that I absolutely need, maybe, maybe Marines would be really... Actually, that's still 1939. So either way, we should focus on land doctrine, naval doctrine, and air doctrines. I think I would like to submarine surface detection 10%, battleship search and destroy... We don't have very many battleships, I don't believe. Not yet, at least. At some point, we will. Let's continue to give our destroyers bonuses. Because that is a majority of our navy. So we're going to begin that research there. So are you just some random... I don't know how that happened. Well, either way. Alright, so let me make sure that I get a good, good general. Heralds? Alright, that's fine. Or do I want the own combat supply consumption... Supply consumption, negative 20%. Not sure how supply is going to be if we ever do land on Germany. That might be interesting. All right, well, let's go here, and then let's draw another naval plan. Whoops. So we'll jump off from there, and we'll just try to make it over this way. Although, I could see how this could be a good, uh, a good access point, taking this away from Germany. But I don't really want to do that, especially if I don't have access... Like, I don't mind taking, like, you know, one or two motorized divisions and sending them over here. But if I don't have military access through Poland, then there's no point. Yeah, they're not going to do it. Base reluctance. They are they are not going to do it. The other thing that I want to do is I want to train a few Marines. Let's train a few Marines and train a few motorized divisions. Actually, and I guess I'll train some, uh, some Mountaineer divisions as well. And we'll just have them go into... Should probably have them all pop up in a different location. I guess here instead. Greater London area. Let's have them all pop up there too. Since it's going to be a little bit... Oh my goodness, I just did it again. Alright, don't click on that icon, Drew. That way they're at least next to a naval port. It'll be a lot quicker for them to get to the front lines. Because I'm not assigning these guys to any, um, any division or theater in particular just yet. Because... Uh... Because I don't know where I'm going to want to include these guys into. Here, let me make sure that you guys get these. And, uh, how long are we going to take for this? 28 days, alright. So you guys go for that. What's going on here? Good, we're defending Luxembourg pretty, in a pretty okay way. It's okay. We're going to, we're dominating this, this, this battle here. Now, what's going on with, uh, Italian Ethiopia? I think it's time to to say it's time to put this plan into action. I know that we're probably still not positioned correctly, but let's, let's go ahead and jump into it. Because I don't want this part of uh, Italy to start to move. It looks like they only have two divisions. I mean, I doubt it. I doubt it. Let's hope that France gets a little bit more aggressive and starts to attack this part too. Now, obviously, my biggest worry is Nationalist Spain. If Nationalist Spain joins in, this is going to get really, really tough because right now, as the British, we just don't have that many divisions. We also don't have that many civilian factories either, though. Hopefully, Yugoslavia stays alive and Czechoslovakia. They, if they can all stay alive, that would be great. But uh, let's not get our hopes up. 70 days? You just told me 28. Why? Why? That does not make any sense. Denmark is not a part of the Allies. Not yet, at least. We can probably call them in. I'm, if, if Germany's dumb here, they'll declare on Denmark. And we could probably get all of Scandinavia, maybe Norway, involved as well. That's what I'm really hoping for. Another thing that I could do is I could probably... No, you know, I probably shouldn't do that. That's getting a little bit too close to the Italians. But I could try to reinforce Yugoslavia. I really just don't have the forces for that, though, right now. How are we doing? Good. Okay, we're making lots of victories. Do I have... Whoa, what is going on here? Um, yeah, so we're winning most of these. We're, we're winning most battles. I mean, they're running away for the most part. Luxembourg's good. Uh, in terms of national, uh, national focus tree, 
we're going to be getting additional research bonuses for decryption and computing technology. I know that there's something in, I think there's something in our national focus that we can grab in order for us to get a little bit, ooh, 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 ooh. Naval combat. Are we still facing this? Yeah, can you, can you not? We should probably have these guys do not engage, first of all. Yes, go here. Do you need, I, 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 yeah, so I have them on hold now. It's, I, I, I keep having issues, like a few videos ago, actually last video I talked about how I, I wanted to tell these guys to stop. Go here, now go there, there you go. Alright, so you guys go there and don't move. Just stay there. <laughs> that's that's all I want you to do, is just stay there. Oh gosh, alright, so Italy's starting to move. Um, Italy is starting to move, so, and they're moving towards us. Maybe it's because they feel the threat of, uh, of Ethiopia falling. You know, I might be able to cut these guys off if I'm, if I'm lucky. Come this way. Yeah, let's try that. We also have some French divisions here in Somaliland. Alright, so yeah, you guys go there. Let me split you in half, actually, and take a division to come over this way. What are you guys doing? So we've got to move fast. Since Italy is starting to put the pressure on us in the north, if we can get rid of uh, Italian Ethiopia as quickly as possible, that will be good. Obviously. Obviously, that would be good, Drew. Okay, so I have these guys already just in the involved in the uh, the naval invasion. So if I'm not paying attention, they'll just land, or they'll or they'll just get completely destroyed if if Germany's waiting for us there. But uh, we need to kind of pay attention. I mean, I I could always stop. I could say don't don't enact the plan. I mean, they'll still prepare. But um, I, I I'll take my risk. And I'll say just jump in there as quickly as possible. All right, so far so good. What are we constructing? In terms of construction, we're working on more civilian factories. We definitely need more military factories because we just don't start off with anything as the UK. It's crazy. I think I want to go one more here. Yeah, breakthrough and soft attack. That would be good since we have got so many infantry units. We've really focused on uh, infantry divisions. Okay, Yugoslavia is doing all right. Looks like they're defending themselves. The problem is they're fighting a, a, a dual, you know, dual forces from both, both Italy. Actually, we don't, we don't know. Mm, this is all you can't really tell zooming out because the divisions are, are all over the place. Do I have forces down here? I know that I marked this as a front. I technically do not. I marked it as a front. I mean, I'm hoping that if they start to get pushed back, the AI should navigate itself over towards the south. I'm get. I'm hoping it, that's that's how it should be, but we'll see. Okay, so we'll probably increase the speed here a little bit. Also, wait a second. Let me make sure that you're not doing anything. Yes, you're gonna put on. You're gonna be put on holds. Don't do anything. Uh, in terms of deployments, yeah, I mean, I've got these guys already set for Northern England. I guess I should leave them there. Destroyer, light cruiser, submarine. At least we're doing okay in resources, knock on wood. I mean, that won't be like that forever, but knock on wood, it's okay now. Eventually, I'd like to get a bigger navy in the uh, in the Pacific, but at the moment, you know, obviously that is not, that is not my number one concern. Now, I think over the break, okay, good. Poland, I, I wasn't sure if... if if we had Poland um, creating their own faction, we're going to really hope, I'm going to really hope that, you know, first of all, oh my gosh, look at Czechoslovakia. Czechoslovakia is starting to push their own way through. All right, this is good, because you know they're going to be distracted. Okay, we got 30 days left, so about another month. Who are you? Did you just get built? Yeah, you just got built. Okay, so let me make sure you put, put you in this division. Although I am, I'm a little bit concerned. Okay, wait a second. We've got Italy now moving on this front. There, there, there wasn't too much going on, kind of inactivity going on along the Italian front before. 
And they're starting to lose some of this stuff. I mean, I can bring divisions down there. I'm going to need to put a better, you know, a, 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 a zero capacity general, though. I'm going to hold off on it. I'm going to hold off on it. You guys got it. You guys got it. Here, you know what I'm going to do? Because I'm a little bit concerned about this. You guys come here. There you go. So you guys come here. I might even take a little bit more. Because I don't think... Well, let's let's wait. I don't think... I think I'm only sending about four divisions down that, that way. Come on, Switzerland. I know you want to get involved, Switzerland. I know you want to, right? Ah, oh, of course. Of course now I'm, I need more things. I need steel. I'm already asking for... Okay, so we'll ask for a little bit more. So there goes my civilian factories. But I'm trading with the U.S., so that's good. Make sure that we stay cool with the U.S. Yes, we have four more divisions. I don't know if that's going to be enough. Can you get out of the way? 30. And I, we see about 40 here from the Italians. All right, so maybe a few more. Yeah, they're starting to lose this. So we've got six divisions there and 18 up here. Again, Germany's not moving. They're not even trying. So that's why I might send even more. All right, let's try it. Okay, what, what, uh, what day are we on? We're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, Japanese diplomats in Berlin. Okay, well, that's not good. New partnership is developing between Tokyo and Berlin. Yep, that is not good. All right, so national focus. Um, like I said, there is something in here, that w amphibious warfare, maybe it's that, 50% research bonus for marine technology and transport models. That's kind of what I'm thinking about. 50% research bonus for destroyer models, that's pretty nice. Naval doctrines. I think we need amphibious warfare. Okay. Royal tank, tank uh, regiment. Yeah, let's go ahead and go amphibious warfare. Because I'm pretty sure we are nearing, let's see, where are you at? There it is. 1940, right? 1940, okay. So this is one of those technologies that we're going to want to rush, especially if we haven't made it to, uh, if, if none of our naval invasions have been, have been successful by then. So if it's, you know, 1939 August, August 1939, I might consider rushing it. We've got five techs, so we can kind of do that. All right, we're still defending. Pretty strong here, and we're, we're definitely seeing their numbers lower along the Italian front. Hey, 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 What's going on? All right, let me edit this a little bit. Okay, so you need to... We should edit you. There you go. Okay, we'll do that. Alright guys, I'm going to stop right there. Uh, things seem to be doing okay, as long as Yugoslavia stays. I think putting pressure on Germany from the north will really help. But uh, anyways, we'll see. Anyways guys, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.